early. He definitely <laughs> did not seem that solid versus Spacey's. He's definitely, um, based okay. on his play style, it just seems like he's more solid versus, like, floaty characters. He seems pretty good at zoning, from what I saw. <laughs> yeah, he's he's definitely a fan of the, the, the kind of wall style, where you yeah. just throw out a bunch of hitboxes. Yeah, I see those down toads already. <laughs> That grab. <laughs> oh. Is he dead? Nah. Oh. Yeah. Good I those those backers were sketchy because you can definitely angle above them. Oh, I feel like. Oh, that was. That was pretty. Cool. I feel like just shining him off the side would have been. I think he had a chance to, but knowing Sandbag, he wants to do it cooler. <laughs> Okay, so definitely missed that dash there yeah. after that down air. Up smash? Or forward smash? I know Sandbag kind of hates this matchup. But I don't know. I, don't know. I hope he doesn't get tilted. Yeah, that's something I noticed from Queso a lot earlier. He he definitely loves his random forward smashes in neutral. Yeah. I think if Salt catches onto it, which I think he probably will, he's just going to start punishing it. Seeing too many near from so oh, from Sandbag. Ooh, nice CC grab. Yeah. He could have punished that force forward air going there. So he's got tax oh. dashes and more as well. Yeah. See, he's going to the top level. I don't know. Oh, he tried going for that reverse setup. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that. I, th I, I feel like, I feel like when it's this close, you gotta keep it simple. Yeah. I also think Sandbag could have just like di to the top block for him. Yeah, that too. That's one of my like my most studied like situations. It's just like I always start combos on spaces on this stage, and then they just di to my uppers to the top platform. And I'm I like, didn't like how he went low there. Like he, he di'd that in a in a really bad way because like it just put him in an overall losing scenario. Like if he double jumps, Sandbag could just backer him. Goes low, he gets backer it again. Like that were shined. Yeah. This is the dual for your case though. Not if you do yeah. that. He's not utilizing death. But at the same time, like Saul's not giving him time to do it. Oh, that's the guy. Nice fade back. I think once they air dodge, you should go for the the backer, just let it rock. But he still clutches the game. This is best of five, right? Yeah. So we'll probably see FD at this point. Probably. I would be surprised. I if heard him say he's gonna go Sheik <laughs> in this matchup, but I don't know. Who's I think his Fox is dual. Yeah. Oh. His fox can definitely do it. Yeah, there you go. That's what I like to see. Well, this stage looks so different with like the widescreen. Yeah. Man. The stock icons look really cool on <laughs> yeah. I think I think like yeah. they they're actually like uh the colors are like more bled into each other to like save memory. Yeah. But it en ends up just looking really cool. Damn, this is fun as game. He's actually he's making me eat my words there. <laughs> when I said he looks kinda Shaky versus Spacey. Yeah. But it is FD. I'll throw that out there. Could be dead. Yeah. Oh. That was a nice downer. I feel like a lot of the SFO Spacey's go with low versus Mark for some reason. And I feel like that's a really bad option to do. Oh, uh, I guess. Ooh, okay. That was almost really clean. Um, I feel like going for the second reverse forward air was a little <laughs> not. Oh, but even if they you tech though, like he still has more options to cover. He could have smashed that. Yeah, or just upbeat, honestly. There you go. He's bringing him back. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about up throw at this at this percent. He's at that like more throwing percent where it's like tough to count, but he's good.
He almost got double shine there. Get it again. Oh, uh, I don't like that yeah, at all. Yeah, he threw that uh, way too early. Yeah. He was just double jab. I think I think Queso's getting a little bit nervous. I see the, yeah. the F smash is coming out. Up smash. I guess he tried up airing. Yeah, I, I don't. I think he. Ooh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he meant there. to tip that forward air. Dude, he set that more than the weight like so fast. What? Lots of spaghetti doing? right now, yeah. Yeah. You can just like literally do the simple option, just walk up to the ledge Did and he double beat his down to it up now. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I feel like even even like side B one in this scenario. Alright. Alright, one one. I guess that's why you don't go high. <laughs> I mean, you can't even really go high on this stage anyway. It's that's Fox. true. It's like you can definitely just throw out something and then cover them with whatever they want. Makes sense. The classic counter pick versus Mars cross most matchups. Yeah, I don't even think like I'm not even sure what matchup you wouldn't counter pick with your mind. Yeah. So Marth doesn't really like. It's not even that the stitch is like bad for Marth. It's it just, just doesn't do as well. Yeah. Like you have like tipper setups through the platforms on like all the other stages yeah. and stuff. And he just doesn't have really much on this stage besides like the baby easy no impact land on the side side platforms. Oh, he tried off the thing now. Yeah, that was um. Definitely part of being really good at Amsa teching is knowing when to not do it. That's something that I learned the hard way. Yeah. So okay, this is actually like playing pretty well. Right yeah. Now. He's definitely like getting the he punishes where gone he needs. That yeah. That should have been. Like, he could have gone out there and cleared him. Oh, I feel like full hop up air would have been better there instead of that short hop forward air. The the last one. Yeah. But. All right. Well, even stocks. Throw up air. That was good. Full hop there. Director. Why is he so far from the ledge? I don't know. <laughs> that was like. Yeah. Back Oh, caught the double Sold jump too. Sandbag's low key bringing him back right now. So he's got that. He's trying to ledge that. Yeah. So you actually don't need to angle the, the shield downwards like that to get the actual Marth cover. Backward? Yeah, you just need to hold it like straight all the way back. That makes sense. Because I think if you hold it downward, you fall. But I grab the ledge. I mean, I I think the like it still puts you in a position to grab the ledge, but because you're also holding down, uh, I think it, like if you're holding too much down, you just like fall right past the ledge because you you know you don't grab the ledge when you're holding down. Oh, he has no jump. Yeah. Whoa, Sam. Damn, he turned his like around. Yeah. Completely. Like he hasn't been able to do anything, Sam. Oh, is he dead? No. Yeah. I think like when when Marth is in this situation where he can't find a kill, he needs to be patient. That's just like you can't force things. Because if you force it Yeah. I think he's just gotta like play like as if it's a floaty at that point and just go hit for hit. That was that was good. Oh he he could have shined that side B. Oh, that oh was my gosh, that was that's really bad that is the most I hate when that happens so much, but it's so pro. Oh yeah, went for the up tilt really early. Yeah, I think I think he was like expecting Sandbag to, oh, to land on the platform. Like this. Oh, forward air, forward throw. Oh, is he dead? Oh, oh my gosh, was, perfect nice. spacing. It's pretty cool that he tagged that forward tilt too. I didn't expect that. And he didn't get the wall jump either. So Pokemon or maybe Yoshi's? Pro I'd say probably Yoshi's. Oh, That'll back to back. Too. 
like the oh unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, that could have been a trap. Oh, that upper was so nice. 